And tonight, the family of a man hospitalized at Baptist South on a ventilator is asking for help finding an ECMO machine. The machine's a life support that replaces the heart and lungs functions. On your side's Kaylee Tracy's live tonight outside Baptist South. And Kaylee, he had plans to get vaccinated. Yeah, Heather, 67 year old David Wilkinson and his wife, who's 61 years old, they were actually going to get vaccinated the week David tested positive for COVID. A few days after he tested positive, his wife tested positive. And then a few days after that, they ended up here at Baptist South. Now his wife is home on oxygen recovering, but David remains here at Baptist South in critical condition on a ventilator. <laughs> This is David Wilkinson with his grandson one year ago. Today is his 18th day in the hospital with COVID-19. He's critical at this point. Um, we need a miracle. Those are his daughters, Devin Neiman and Davina Christie. Eight of those 18 days, his wife Lucia was in the hospital alongside him with COVID too. She's now home recovering. But he's hanging on. I mean, they've said he's fighting. Um, he's kind of staying the same, so he's not getting progressively worse now that he's on the vent. Davina and Devin say they're trying to find an ECMO machine to help their dad because local hospitals don't have any available. They've reached out to hospitals from Florida to North Carolina to Tennessee with no luck. An ECMO is life support that replaces the function of the heart and lungs. We're still fighting. We're fighting hard. We've been in search for an ECMO machine, which um, he would potentially need. Baptist Health said in a statement, quote, throughout the country and in our area, a very limited number of hospitals have ECMO machines. If an adult patient requires ECMO, Baptist Health will transfer the patient to the closest accepting hospital, provided they have capacity and feel the patient would be a good candidate for the treatment. If a local hospital does not accept the patient for treatment, we continue to search other hospitals outside the state of Florida. The sisters say they would have never predicted they'd be where they are today. He just built their entire screen and back porch that's absolutely beautiful by itself. Um, and now here we are a few weeks later and he's fighting for his life. I mean, it, it's serious. And they have a message to anyone listening. If anybody sees this, if you know anybody that could help with anything, clinical trials, we're, we're, we're willing to do anything for our father. Memorial Hospital and Ascension St. Vincent do not have any ECMO machines. UF Health Jacksonville has two, but they are both in use, and we are waiting to hear back from May. We'll be sure to keep you updated on that, but please keep this family in your thoughts and prayers tonight. Reporting live, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.